All right, what's up, everybody? I know I missed yesterday's, but I'm back today, so I'm really excited. Um, I also just finished, so I'm really pumped. I just finished a vlog, another vlog episode of the wedding that we did in uh, St. John. So I, I think it's funny, um, and I think it's really cool. So it's a lot of fun. Um, so that shows you a little like behind the scenes of the wedding that we did in St. John. That's on our YouTube channel, so if you want to check it out, you can. The link is in the bio. You can also subscribe. Um, it would be cool if you subscribe because you get to see all that stuff. Um, but I am going to, to, to show you guys the behind the scene of the um, – the behind the scenes of the, sh the the kind of the beauty portrait that we por posted yesterday. Um, and I'm really excited because it actually is a good bit of work that I put into it because it is a beauty portrait. It's really nice. Um, it's a really elegant photo. Um, and just like we all know, like skin has flaws, like face, um, like face and pores and dimple, or not dimples, but like blemishes. There's all sor sorts of things uh, that um, need to be need to be taken out and need to be kind of brushed out without looking fake. And so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. And so uh, because I really love the photo because it doesn't look too fake. It doesn't look like I did a whole lot to the image, but it's still uh, I still did some work on the image to get it. So I'm going to show you guys what the before and after look like. We're going to walk through that. We're going to even walk through the process of the background, the hair, all that stuff. So this might be a little bit longer. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But um, I just want to, want to get like a super elegant photo uh, of a bride and it's probably one of my favorite just like straight on bridal beauty glamour shots that we've taken. So I'm super excited to show you guys how I got through it and so this is the one that I'm going to show you. So posted this one on Instagram um, right here. Let's see you guys. Hopefully you can see that. So posted this one right here on Instagram. Super gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to walk you guys through it now. Uh, so here is actually the original shot straight. Um, this is right out of camera. Um, what the original looked like, you can see it's a little bit cool. Um, she's got blemishes. Um, she's kind of got a couple of, a little bit of scarring crow's feet. And so like, that's normal. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous bride. She is amazing. Um, like she looks, I mean, she really is a gorgeous girl and that stuff is normal. We all have that stuff on our skin. Um, but when we're shooting a bride, um, the bride wants to look like on her wedding day, it's the most beautiful she feels like she's ever looked. Um, and so we want to make sure that she feels that when she sees her photo. So it's really cool because I actually posted this um, and she shared it uh, and was super excited to see it uh, again, you know, years. I think we shot this. Uh, when did we shoot this? We shot this in uh, 2015. So two years, ago, almost two years ago, we shot this portrait. Um, so and she just shared it because she's excited to see how she looked on her wedding day. And so we want to make made, we want to make sure she feels really beautiful. So this is straight out of camera what this looks like. Um, and this is what we're going to get to on the final. So you can see there is retouching done, but it's not anything that looks crazy fake. You know, so like uh, she looks gorgeous here. Um, this is So this is straight out of camera. Uh, and this is the, um, the shot that we got. And so the makeup artist did a great job. We just want to compliment her. We don't want to take away from, you know, like the look of the day. We just want to compliment what the makeup artist did. And so uh, I'm going to show you guys how we walked through it. So first we put kind of our preset on it. And so... Uh, like we normally do, that kind of gets added on. This is um, this one has a little bit more shadows, so I'm gonna actually bring up the shadows because I didn't want it too much to be shadowed on her face. But you can see kind of the shadowing on the face. This was actually shot in, um, I mean, it was pouring rain when I shot this, pouring rain, um, and so we went under an awning, and I still wanted her to get a really gorgeous look to the photo. Um, so under under an awning and pouring rain so even though it's raining outside you can still get really gorgeous photos so this is what it looks like with our preset added i'm going to bring up the highlights here uh, or the shadows here and you can see already all i did was put in our preset um put on our preset and then um uh, brought up the shadows and you can see there's already a nice little pop that she has that i really like um so she gets that pop there then from here i'm gonna adjust the white balance however i like and like i told you i just go to auto um, so I don't really care much. I just go to auto, see what auto does. Auto has it a little bit warm for me. So I'm just going to bring it down slightly, not too much. Um, and then from here, I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to change. So she's got, you can see how she's got a little bit of scarring and dimples. I mean, not dimples, but blemishes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the spot edit tool and I'm just going to um, put it on heel and have that take some of that out. I will go in a little bit later if I need to, to, um, Photoshop if I need to, but I don't foresee me. I don't think I needed to for this photo. So 
Um, I'm going in, taking out some of these things here. Um, so I think she's, she looks great going from there. Now I also have brushes that I really like that um, make her look really nice that, that aren't like um, too much. So they're not like a plastic kind of doll, porcelain doll look. So you can see like this is a, a super subtle brush but smooths her out really, really nicely. So I love, love, love this brush here. Um, one of my favorite ways to use it. Um, and I don't really care. Here are my settings over here. So if you want to, if you can't see that too well here, check out the YouTube page. Um, I'm going to put this up on YouTube tonight, um, and you'll see the, the settings that I have. Man, that's like a world of difference. So like here, just go ahead and look from without the brush, see what it looks like there, and then with the brush, see what it looks like there. Um, it keeps the contour in her skin, which is really nice. It keeps um, It keeps it really smooth, but it doesn't doesn't make her look fake, which is key, which is so huge. I mean, you can see most of the work is done there, but I want to go in and I can see that she has, um, that she has, like she has like red lines on her eyes. So what I can do here, what I also love, I have presets for everything. I have presets for beauty brush, for eyes, for different color eyes. So she has green eyes. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change, I'm going to affect the green eyes a little bit. Um, so I'm going to bring down the flow because I don't want it too much, but you'll see a, a pop in her eyes here. Um, you see that? So, <laughs> yeah, you better what? You better praise them. That's what I'm talking about, KB. Um, so you can see like the little pop in her eyes here. Um, and, that, and that might be a little bit much for me. So I can, I can affect, I can change that later. See what this looks like. Um, you can see a change from there. So I'm going here. This is without the eye pop. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. So I have here without the eye pop, and then with it, you can see that there's a difference. And then I'm also gonna come in here, and I have another one for getting out like um, the whites in the eyes. So I have one for white eyes. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, eye whitener. So if I wanted to, I can come here and I can take the white out like that. Um, but what I decided to do, because when I zoomed out of this, it looks a little fake. So like, it's like, whoa, that's too white. Her eyes look way too white there. <laughs> they look like, um, I don't know, they look like little marbles. So what I did instead here was I just came in and I just got my own brush. Um, and I actually brought down the saturation so that the little red in the eyes, um, you couldn't see them as much. So these little reds, I just brought down the saturation. And you could see it almost go away a little bit. So I brought up highlights just a tad bit um, and I brought down saturation um, and so like you can do a bunch of different things I know um, I don't have a whole lot of time I think I went in, I do have time but uh, I want to keep these short but I think I may have actually also went into Photoshop to get those out um, so you can do all different types of things um, and then I also have one for like bags and crow's feet so let me go to new and then I can go here to bags under eyes so I'm really just using brushes instead of having to even go to um, Photoshop. I'm just using brushes. So like she's got slight bags, so I'm just getting those bags right out, you know. And so it makes it super simple. Um, I don't want that last part, so I don't want this side as much. Um, and then like it's then going from there and smoothing out with. Um, so she's got the crow's feet here, and so if I wanted to, I could go in uh, to Photoshop. Um, and as I go, where is it? Um, Okay, so I'm here, um, Photoshop, and then I also have like, there's little parts of the wall back here that I don't like as much, so I'm going to go ahead and take that stuff out as well, because I don't like that wall. So I want to keep the image as clean as I can, um, and then I, you know, I actually feel like I do want it a little bit warmer, and then I'm going to raise the contrast on it, just because that's me and my style and what we like, so I'm going to up the contrast a little bit. So like, mine is doing a... Thanks so much. I appreciate that, Kathleen. You're awesome. Um, so minus the minus going in and um, doing all of the the crow's feet, which I can do in Photoshop uh, if you want want me to, but I think that might take a little bit of time. Um, Mine is doing that. This is almost a final image. I'm going to show you the progression. I put her in the light, and you can see we started here, um, and then I was like, well, I kind of like this look, so I had her here, and these are all gorgeous. Um, these are all gorgeous looks. Uh, I love the smile here, had her look down, looks gorgeous. Then we brought in like the flowers, um, and then I was like, well, I want to go back here, and then I'll show you even after this shot. I kept going, had her smile here, 
looking away, looking down, and then I got on top here with the crown, um, the floral crown that she has. Ultimately finishing here uh, because I love this shot. So starting, um, so if I show you where we started, we started here, we moved to our preset. Um, from our preset, we adjusted the shadows. Um, from our shadows, we um, adjusted the temperature, spot removal to the skin, added brush um, on the skin as well. Um, a beauty brush, you can see that cleared it out uh, a good bit and she looks gorgeous. Thanks girl, I appreciate it Leanne. I hope you're doing well girl, I really do. Um, miss you. You guys are awesome, you're awesome. So then um, going through here, um, you can see I've affected the eyes, changed up the eyes a little bit um, and then um, changed a little bit more of the saturation and those things and then the contrast. Um, and so getting from there, I moved into here. So this is the final one I did more and more work. I wanted it super simple, super elegant. So going from, eventually going from here, let's see, where am I? Eventually going from here and ending here. So uh, I hope that's helpful. If you guys want to see more, um, if you missed it, if you jumped in halfway, go ahead and check out um, on our YouTube channel. Also, I'm going to talk about this again. We are speaking at the Turn It Up conference this week, talking about shooting. I'm actually going to do a live shoot, and I'm going to do a, um, a live edit. So I'm super pumped for you guys to see that. Um, so sign up in the link in bio. It's free, completely free. There are certain sections of it that are you pay like an um, and you pay like a upgraded premium price. But other than that, like it's a free, free um, conference with a lot of amazing speakers. And girl, Sid, I'm so excited to meet you this weekend and to shoot uh, Emily and Philip's wedding. It's going to be sick. I know that's going to be so awesome. So I'm excited too. Um, so you guys check out the. YouTube channel if you want to see more of this again so you can rewind it. You can see every, all the settings, all that stuff. might be a little bit easier. And if you guys um, want me to do other photos, I will do those as well. So thank you guys so much for checking in. I really, really appreciate it. Keep shooting. Keep practicing. Um, do stuff like this. Learn from other people. Um, we are here, so if you guys need us, let us know. I also am going to, maybe not this week because it's going to be a little crazy, but next week I'm going to jump on and do another one of those like, random chats. So um, keep an eye out. I'll give you guys more of a heads up this time where uh, we will randomly jump into Instagram live or, or run into the story. I'll put a link up and the first five, six people we can meet, hang out, um, chat, and then like all any business questions you guys want to ask or about anything, let me know and I can make sure that we do that. But pumped. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm super excited uh, and I hope you guys like the photo.